the technology that we are using is the freeze-dry technology. Freeze. Astronaut food. Wait, astronaut food? Well, Houston, uh, if we had a problem, we don't have a problem anymore. We've got healthy snacks. Psst, come closer. Closer. Have you heard that the fastest growing field in Israeli high tech is going to change the way we live and snack? I meant for a short conversation with the CEOs of the healthy meals and snack companies. So let's snack meals and snacks. Wow, it's sweet. At Tanina, we create our meal capsules, which are made from ugly produce. So not because they're not fresh and not because they're not tasty, just because they're ugly, they're being thrown away. Exactly. This is Upland. This is a new snack that we are launching, and it's contained 100% of natural ingredients. It's a snack that is actually good for you. This is a whole hummus restaurant in one small machine. Just push the button. That's all. One yeah. button and I've got hummus. Tour snacks going to be totally different. We have the ability with our new technology to change the world snack. You're healthy, you're probably tasty, but you're ugly. And I think we're going to throw this away, right? No, actually not. Uh, we prefer to take these vegetables, which are uh, made from ugly produce, and just create this beautiful meal. That is stunning. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's a combination of art. We create a 100% natural ready-to-cook meal, actually made from only plant-based ingredients, very rich in nutrients. For example, this capsule has 20 grams of protein and 17 grams of fiber, only from the ingredients you see here. So where did the idea come from? Me and Meidan Levy, uh, our partner, studied uh, industrial design in Bezalel, which is Academy for Art and Design in Jerusalem. Wow. As part of a, a course of uh, food design, uh, we realized that uh, 30 to 50 percent of all produce is going to waste. As a designer, uh, we know how to make beautiful things. When did you know about ugly food? I grew up in Jerusalem. Yeah. And my mother, she used to make her shopping in the Machne Yuda market. As a child, I remember her uh, buying those uh, funny-looking uh, vegetables. So we take this art, place it in the bowl, Yeah. add a cup of water. Next step, microwave for eight minutes, and then you get a delicious, healthy meal. Wow, it's yummy. You know, it's amazing how I feel all the different ingredients separated in my mouth. Genius, taking something ugly and letting it feel that it's beautiful and essential. If we can do that with vegetables, imagine what we can do with other things. But let's stay focused and meet the other company. Snacks that are 100% natural ingredients are not that tasty. Okay, so I just came from the state and I want to show you something. Here. It's uh, it's fruits and vegetables. That's delicious. This is maybe the coolest product I've seen all day here. So it's gonna be delicious. Yes. Yeah. Very much. I, w I would you want, want to snack this all day. Around ninety percent of the nutrition and the vitamins that the fruit contain, it's actually now in this bag. Would you like to try one? Yeah, I would love to try one. Which color? I want the yellow one. Wow, it's sweet. Okay, so this is really tasty. I can like keep, I can just yeah. keep doing it. So the technology was developed uh, originally in NASA for astronauts because they need something light, but a technology that keeps all the nutrition. We are using the freeze-dry technology as a binder. Instead of using sugar and other industrial glues, the freeze-dry combine all the ingredients and we can have this fun bite. So a great story is essential but great technology is everything. We're not talking anymore about a grandma in the kitchen cooking hours and hours. This is innovative technology that provides tasty, healthy, and prepackaged food. So do you want to prepare hummus? Yep, let's do it. Take the chickpea paste bag, hang it over here. Just push the button. That's all, one yeah. button and I've got hummus. You know, this movement. Yeah, this Very is... important one. Yeah. Beautiful hummus plates. Fresh hummus. Yeah. I like it. And it. it's exactly like a local hummus joint in Israel. Do you know why Israelis, like, they dip like this and not like 
this? The real question is, why they do it clockwise and not the other way around? Why? I don't know. So you just ask me another question while I ask a question? Yeah, I'm Jewish. Every Israeli knows that hummus is made from raw tahini and cooked chickpeas. Chickpea. Each of them alone can stand for a while. When you mix it, you're gonna have to eat it right away. That's right, and here this machine keeps them separate until you want to eat hummus. How did you come up with this idea? It came out of frustration. You know, Strauss is the largest hummus manufacturer in the world. Since we have some standards to keep and to keep the safety of the customers, we have to add preservatives to lower the acidity of the product. And here, we found a way to overcome. Wow, look at these great inventions. I've got an idea. I, I mean, I haven't thought about it yet, but I, I will. It's, it's a machine that removes thorns from a cactus flower. Bam. We are going to change the way the world snack using our platform. More natural taste in, and a lot of added sugar out. We take pistachio and nut, even a vegetable, and our technology allows them to reconnect into a snack. More natural taste in, no sugar binder, I will in. It started with my partners having a road trip in the US and thinking how they can change the way the world is making snacks. Like every good idea, it starts to build itself. And when we found, you know, the first products coming out of the tech, the results were amazing, and we knew we have something that we need to develop. I'm eating vegetables. Fruits, seeds. Fruits, seeds. And the black pepper to spice a bit your life. Wow. Our tech, of course, is the heart of our company. So you're using hydraulic pressure and ultrasonic energy. So in a way, we say, yes, we weld food into new creations that are going to change the world. OK, next item, Sai. Mm. We need you on the camera. Mm. OK, you ready? Mm -hmm. Exit. If after eating all this healthy food, I'm gonna get so healthy. How do you see our world in 10, 20 years from now? I see a situation when parents feel free to give bars and cookies and other snacks into their kids because they are sugar-free, because they are better for you products, and because they deliver a good promise. Snacks should be fun, crunchy, tasty, but healthy and good. We're changing the way this category and general convenience food is perceived. I want to thank all of you for the cooperation, the attention, the explanations, and also just for being who you are, for trying to overcome the nutritional and environmental challenges the world is facing so that we can all live a better, healthier, and tastier life. Can you? Shrink it so I can yes, take it of home. Of course, I didn't show you, but you have this button to choose the tahini level, this button to prepare hummus, and this button to shrink the to machine. To shrink the machine. Yeah. <laughs> so that was just incredible. And, you know, what an amazing way to see the future of snacking come to life with these startups. Natalie, it is fabulous to see you as well this morning. How are you? I'm doing well, Bridget. It's good to see you as well. So, you know, we're seeing incredible startups going on how to be good for people and kind to the planet. How are you seeing trends come to life in the startups that you're seeing? We're seeing a lot of what the world is seeing right now, but in the very, very early stages and a lot of what's to come. So at the hatchery right now, we're certainly seeing this new way of addressing consumer needs and looking at consumers, not just as statistics, but really as individuals and humans and friends. And so a lot of startups are really trying to address some of the biggest challenges, many of them resulting from the pandemic and pre-pandemic, things like stress and anxiety and lack of sleep and uncertainty. So we saw some of those functional items being shown in the video, but things like immunity and immune boosting benefits, looking at our food as a way to heal and our food as medicine. So a lot of these brands are really trying to highlight adaptogens and natural ingredients, but alongside the actual ingredients that are going into the foods, we're also seeing this showcase of values that we know consumers are looking for, whether it be environmentally friendly goods, looking at the Upcycled Food Association, 
whether it be how brands partner with one another, which is also really fun to see right now, how brands are actually talking to each other and launching hybrid models of what they initially created. Um, and then looking at some new functional products and, and ways of communicating that we haven't done before, because right now we're really relying on technology. So we have to utilize it to get our messages across. Yeah, I couldn't agree more in what we're seeing with Snack Futures and the companies that approach us and the brands that we're creating. It's exactly that. It's how do we upcycle food? How do we rescue them? How do we give healthier nutrition and a snackable form? And consumers are so much more aware now of what they're putting in their bodies, where their food comes from. You know, that whole supply chain and transparency are things that I think we're going to continue to see in snacking for a long time. You know, we obviously saw some fabulous startups presenting their um, ideas and innovations in this video. When you think about the tons of startups that come through the hatchery and you know, we've seen with Colab and Snap Futures, of those that tend to have more success, what would you say they have in common? That's a great question. I think that's the, the formula we're all trying to figure out. But I, I would say the entrepreneurs that we're seeing having the most success with their brands, it's really the brand messaging. I think we've hit a time where you no longer have to portray this perfect image of your brand. Consumers are actually more interested in what's behind the curtain. So talking about your personal story as a founder really resonates with customers. And so they're really interested in finding a community because we lost a bit of a sense of community during the pandemic. So being able to connect with a brand, whether it be through a personal story, maybe a food intolerance or a challenge that we faced, or it could even be as simple as using humor, things like death water, where, you know, they're really trying to work on this idea of let's make fun of ourselves. Let's make fun of what's happening right now, but we're also going to give you a really good product that meets a need that you have. And again, focused on environmentally friendly goods, or again, with these partnerships, Chobani has done a really great job at they launched a product for Feeding America. They recently launched a new product that's highlighting the need to create jobs for immigrants and refugees. So it's really those types of messages that we're seeing work well and coming from the voice of the founder where you're no longer trying to showcase this polished, perfect version of yourself. Uh, and it allows you to experiment because it allows you to create uh, a space where your customers can share their perspective and share their ideas. And then you can incorporate that in new renditions of your products as well. Yeah, I, it's, it's we hear this all the time. It's the buzzword of what is your purpose and how yes. consumers want authenticity, but having that true human story and connecting it to the product truth. You know, what is the food form or how do you make it that halos back to what is it that you stand for and that you're fighting for is so important for consumers. And, you know, we hear that all the time about authenticity, but really having that connectedness, I would say, of what are you delivering to your consumers? How are you explaining that in the simplest way that they get it and that they know it's connected to, to that they can not just buy you, they join you. Well, this has been fabulous and can't wait to see more of what comes out of the snack companies that we just saw and their technology and what's coming out of the hatchery and snack futures. So thank you for, for being here with us, Natalie. Thank you for having me.